All right, guys, just one quick thing before we get into the video. Um, I have a friend that started a YouTube channel up maybe a couple months ago, something like that. Um, I don't know exactly when. Um, if you go on his channel, you'll see, you know, how long it's been since he's actually been on YouTube. But he just started up a gaming channel. Um, it's called Nico Loaded In. Uh, I'm going to put the link in the video, in my video down below. If you're into gaming stuff, your video games or anything like that, just subscribe to him or even just check out his channel, watch some of the videos. He's got some good stuff on there. Um, it's not like one specific game. He doesn't just do GTA or he doesn't just do, you know, Call of Duty, whatever. He's got a lot of different stuff on his channel that he's doing. So, so um, his name is Nico Loaded In. Go give him some love, subscribe to him, and uh, let's get into the video. All right, what is going on, guys? Um, I wanted to finally close out the uh, little steering issue uh, chapter that I was having. Not really an issue. It was an issue I was being told that I had, which I never did have. But if you don't know, a few videos ago, I uh, went to go get an alignment done on my car. They told me they could not perform the alignment due to my steering rack being bad. Um, um, but the issue was with my rack is that I was actually leaking fluid um and you know it needed to be replaced in order to do an alignment um along with tie rods now i stated in the video that i had new tie rods on here and also you know i suspected that my steering rack was okay um i didn't think it was actually leaking so if you don't know i used some uh degreaser like purple like a purple power type stuff it was like a walmart brand purple power um but i used that to clean up the steering rack Got underneath um you know i used the actually i still have the brillo pad out here i honestly i just used like a green brillo pad used some purple power cleaned it all up so i made the steering rack as perfectly clean as i could possibly get it without actually you know lifting it you know, like on like a car lift and really scrubbing. I mean, if I was on a car lift, I'm sure I can get a lot more, but considering I'm crawling under the ground, I got a good amount off. But that's what I did. And I was monitoring it to see if it was actually leaking fluid, if there's any issues with the rack. Um, and I haven't noticed anything going on with my steering rack. It's not making noise, it's not binding, uh, it's not losing fluid. I'll show you my fluid in a second. Everything seemed fine with it. So I'm like, I don't think my steering rack is leaking. So, I just got back from the dealership today, the same place that I had gone to get the alignment done to begin with. I went back there to see what would happen um, and see if they would give me an issue. If they're going to give me an issue, I was going to pretty much raise hell and tell there's nothing wrong with my car, I want the alignment done. Sure enough, I go in there, chilling in the, in the, the customer lounge area, drinking coffee, and uh, about two hours later, hour and a half later, they tell me the car is done. They didn't mention anything about, oh, you were previously here for an issue. They didn't say a word about anything. I literally went in, watched Fox News. They talked about the uh, that, that virus that everyone's talking about. I'm not going to say it, but, you know, they're talking about the virus that is plaguing the world and you can't find toilet paper anywhere. But, um... Yeah, sat in the waiting room for two hours, and then they came out and said, your car's uh, good to go, you know, have a great day. So I find it kind of weird. I don't know if it's maybe the technician that had worked on my car. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure what had happened that originally they thought that my steering rack was, you know, losing fluid everywhere and it was bad. I guess whoever looked at it just saw oil on the actual metal rack and assume that my rack was bad. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but the alignment is done now. Um, I will pop the hood. I'll show you my reservoir and show you that my fluid is indeed still full. Every time I see this engine bay, I really gotta, I really gotta clean this engine bay. I'm so sick of looking at it. Um, but as you can see, actually you're probably not going to be able to see. But if you look at the level there, hopefully you can see the little level, it's still on full. Okay? The fluid is still good in there. I mean, like I said in the other video, it is 
I'll be honest with you, it is a little dirty. I really should consider uh, getting the fluid flushed in here. Um, getting the power steering fluid flush. I think I'm going to do that at some point because, uh, you know, Fords are kind of known for having power steering problems. They like, you know, especially like the older ones, they whine and make noise. But, um, well, will you look at that? There's a crack there. Looks like a plastic cap. I don't know. That's interesting. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um... But yeah, as you guys know, you know, Fords, they're, they're, I'll be honest, they are kind of known for having power steering problems. They like to whine a lot and their pumps go bad. So, I'm just going to keep an eye on it, but it seems perfectly fine to me. If we crawl underneath, we'll take a look at the rack. Hopefully you can see it. But it is as clean as a whistle. Let me get my phone again. I don't know why under here it's so dark. I crawl under cars all the time and it's never this dark. I guess it's the angle. But if you look at the rack over there, doing the best that I can, but if you look, the rack is clean, okay? It's fine. So, if you look here, it looks like it's like you're losing some fluid. It's just oil. If you touch it, oh, you can't touch it, but if I touch it, it's oil, okay? It's not it's not leaking from my uh um my rack. Unfortunately, you know, the oil cooler lines go bad in these if you live where I live in the northeast, you know, the salt belt, the oil lines always go bad from the road salt and uh, you know, you start to lose leak oil from your hoses so I'll eventually get that addressed um I gotta do that too this summer you know this this car is kind of there's been some things I've been neglecting on it to be quite honest with you um and I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of most of those issues this summer it's just it's just like a lot of little stuff like little tiny things nothing real major I just you know I always get involved with the jeep and then I got a truck and I want to do a lot of stuff with the truck so you know it just the Crown Vic kind of just got put on the back burner because the issues are so minor and never really, really bothered to fix it. But, you know, like the oil cooler lines, I'm going to take care of that. I'm sick of the oil there. You know, I'm just going to, the little things, I'm just going to dress, just get the car back to like 100% again. Uh, even though it's still, it's still good to go. I mean, I could drive to California if I really wanted, no issue. But, you know, just the, in short here, everything is okay with the Crown Vic. Um... You know, my steering rack was not leaking. I don't know if they were trying to get money out of me. I don't know if the technician there was new. The guy, the kid that did the, you know, went to go to, to do the alignment. I don't know how the shop works. I couldn't tell you. But, um, I don't know. Just sometimes when you go to somewhere, you know, if you go to even like a mom and pop shop or, you know, a dealership or you, you go to some type of automotive establishment to get your car worked on just if something doesn't seem right if you feel like you're getting scammed or like you have some type of like just very little even just a little bit of like mechanical knowledge and something doesn't seem like doesn't seem right you know it's always good to get a second opinion or maybe just test it out yourself you know do what i did just cleaned it off tested it and just kept an eye on it you know to see if i actually had an issue with my steering rack you know i suggest you guys do the same because they could have got a thousand dollars out of me if I didn't know what I was talking about. And I was speaking to a woman in there um, that was waiting for her car to get done and she told me that she was there, you know, she had gotten brakes done a few months ago or whatever and she went somewhere else to buy two tires and she bought the two tires and the guy that put them on said, hey, listen, when I was pulling your car, I noticed your brakes, they seemed, you know, kind of spongy. It just felt kind of weird, you know? And she's like, oh, okay, I'll, you know, I'll go, I'll go back to the dealership and have them look at it. And then sure enough, the dealership tells her that she needs a new caliper. You know, I'm sure she did need the caliper, but sometimes places just misdiagnose things. You know, how come when she got brakes on, they didn't notice that the caliper didn't seem right, you know? Um, but in other situations, her caliper could have been fine, but then they said she needed a new caliper and charged her a bunch of money to get it done. So you just, 
it's really good if you're going to get your car worked on if you have, if something just doesn't seem right at all you know go with your gut and and don't do it you know don't let someone take advantage of you because like i said i could have been out a thousand dollars put a new steering rack in this and it doesn't even need a new steering rack so that's a quick little wrap up i guess something really else to say um you know that's it everything's good at the car steering rack's good no issues it's not leaking the alignment is good now like i said it pulled a little bit to the left now it's it seems to be straight and true so we'll see as i drive a little bit but all right make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i will see you in the next one take care